Welcome back to my channel, friends. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm going to be today showing you a technique that I do all of the time on my eyes, and it might be something a little bit different than what you're normally used to seeing. We're only gonna use three color eyeshadows, and as you saw in the thumbnail, each eye is different. So what I wanted to do was definitely show you how to do it with two different colors or two different sets of colors. So I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Artistry Palette today. I love these palettes. This was in the video that I just did with my favorite fall palettes of the year 2020. So I love using these. They're rich and creamy and buttery and I just think that they're just next level. And so I wanted to make sure that I brought you two different looks from this so that you can see. And I'm excited to be able to teach you how simple this look is. And if you're new here, please subscribe, hit the like button and the bell notification so that you can be notified of the future videos that I'm having. Thanks so much everybody for being here, especially those that have been with me for such a long time. We're almost to 50,000. I'm super excited about that. Let's get into the three eyeshadow technique so you can see how easy this is right now. So to prep for this look, I'm going to start by putting my Wet n Wild eyebrow highlighter in my waterline. This just makes my look look brighter and more wide awake. And even though I'm going to do two different looks, I do this on each look because I actually like my waterline to look a little bit brighter. All right, so using this palette only, we're not gonna go into any other palettes. We're gonna pick out two colors that we can do as the light and the dark. And I'm gonna start by picking out a peach color right here, this color right here, and this dark brown over here. So this is gonna be a warm toned look. So I'm gonna start out with just using the peach on the eyelid. I'm gonna put my finger down in there. And then I'm going to take some Max Fix Plus. You can take any primer water you have or any setting spray that you normally use. Spray your finger, let it dry a tiny bit, and then go into the eye and just put it across the eyelid the eyelid only. And you're gonna wanna do that to about two thirds of the outer eye. Kind of just raise your eyebrows and let that kind of sit for a second while you move on to the darker color. All right, for that darker color, that brown, I'm gonna use two different shadow brushes. This little tiny one is to set down product and this one is to buff it out. So I'm gonna go into that dark brown and I'm gonna load that brush, not a ton, but you know, get a pretty good amount on there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right here into this outer third part and I'm gonna lay that color down in there so that the majority is right there. So when you bring that out, you're just laying all of that excess color in there. Bring that color down to the about the length of the tail right there so that you have it a really good amount in there and you're laying quite a bit down. So you can see I brought it just a little bit above my crease, not very much, still the majority of it in the crease and right there on the outer third of the eyelid. Then take a fluffy blending brush. Mine is the Moon Goss that I got in a Beautylish box one year. I've had it forever. And I'm just going to go down into that medium brown color. So we've done three colors, the light peach, the dark brown, and now the medium brown. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay that color down on top of the crease of the dark brown color. And you're gonna bring that out towards the tail. So what you're doing with that color is you're actually buffing out the brown. And what I love about this is it hardly takes any effort whatsoever. So I am doing stippling motions. I'm not doing back and forth motions. Just buffing, just tapping, bouncing, whatever you wanna call it, this whole area right here. And I'm just pushing that dark color around so that I can get it blended like crazy. And what I do because of the shape of my eyes is I pull color clear out to the tail of my eyebrow but right in here, I just kind of round it just a little bit to match the shape of my eye, which is what you can do too. So don't go all the way in with this color, even though it's a transition color. That way you're not gonna get a bunch of darkness over there. Now you can darken it up more by putting more color in there. And that's what I'll do right now is I'll put a little bit more color down right there. And then I'm gonna grab the dense shader brush. That's going to help me buff out the dark color again, but keep the intensity of the dark color because this is a stiffer brush and it's a little bit more dense too. All right, so that is quite light. It's really pretty. I like it a lot. You can darken this up if you want to. Let's go ahead and darken it up a little we're bit. We're gonna take that dark brown color again on that brush and we're gonna just work it in and make it a bit darker. And then go in with the blending brush one more time into that color and just blend 
the brown color, the dark brown color with your transition color. Makes it really easy to do. Make sure you follow the natural arch of your eyebrow with this or the natural arch of your eye and then pull it outwards. It really does help to kind of lift it and pull it up. All right, for this eye, I'm gonna use a Rimmel automatic liner. I'm not gonna use a liner on the other eye, but for this one, I'm gonna show you what you can do with a, a liner. So you wanna just put like a quarter of the way over and pack down some of that eyeliner color. And once you do that, you can take a pencil brush, mine is from ColourPop, and go into any of these colors that you want. If you want it to be lighter, you can go into the lightest color you use. I'm gonna go into this darkest color that we used because I want it to be just a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna just put it right on top of where I put that up, that coal liner. And I'm going to start pulling it in and buffing it out. Now to complete the look, take a paddle brush, um, like a concealer brush, go back into the peach color, lift some up, lay that paddle brush down and towards your inner eye there, and just make that inner corner kind of stand out with the color. And it's really pretty when you do that. All right, now you have this eye done. You have the peach, the brown, and the transition color that was the lighter brown. Really easy. This time we're gonna go different. We're gonna take the matte color right here, and our darkest color is gonna be this color right here, which is this blue, this deepened blue. Trust me, this is gonna be fine. And then we'll take another color after we do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna put my finger into that light, light color. I'm gonna load my finger up with it, and I'm gonna spray my finger again with my Max Fix Plus. Once I do that, I'm gonna put that on the lid. When you use a mat with the, with the Fix Plus, it does take a little bit more to build up. So you might have to put a couple little coats on here. I'm gonna dip my finger in and I'll put a couple little coats on there. I'm cleaning off that little packing brush with my towel here so we don't have any of that brown in it. And I'm gonna go down into that deep blue color and I'm just gonna load it. Now, when you work with shimmers instead of mattes, you're gonna have more color payoff. Keep that in mind when you're using these colors. You're gonna have more vibrant color immediately. So be careful about not putting too much on there at once. So use a light hand and just go into that one third of the eye like we did on the other one. So I'm barely touching that and it's just building that eye look up like crazy. It's beautiful, but I don't want it to get away from me. And I'm just using very small dabbing, stippling motions with this. I'm gonna use that same transition color cause I think it's gonna be really good on here. So just pick that up again on that fluffy brush that you had and then go right directly on top of that outer color and build that up and blend it in. You're just wanting all of it to meld together. This is gonna be beautiful when you really work with it. So remember, take it out to the corner and arch across with your natural brow or your natural eye. And if you need to, lay more of that color down. And then with that dense shader brush, I'm gonna meld these two colors together on the eyelid so that we get a really soft wash there and then I'm gonna bring it over, bring that color that is the blue over and I'm just going to blend this like crazy. Sometimes it takes a really long time to blend. So don't get discouraged if it doesn't look like what you want it to right off the bat. You can always go back and blend, blend, blend some more. One of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna blend those two together. I'm gonna lift up a little bit of that color that was the light color on my finger and I'm just going to lighten this a little bit more because it did go away a little bit with that darker color. Just lightening it a little bit more and bringing more brightness to the area. Now I'm gonna go back into the blue with this pencil brush and this is gonna be my liner. And what I wanna do with this is I wanna smudge it. So I'm picking up a very small amount. I'm not picking up very much at all. And it's just going to get smudged across. And remember, bring most of the color out here on the outer third and then lightly, lightly pressure with your brush towards the inner part and I don't bring it all the way over. So this is gonna be much more muted than this eye. It's not gonna be as vibrant. It's gonna be just brushed out and really light there. I cleaned off my little paddle brush or my little concealer brush and I'm gonna go into that light color that we used and I'm gonna do that inner corner the same way I did the other eye. 
but this time we're just using matte instead of the bright metallic. Okay, so I gave you two different looks there. We have a very colorful look and then we have a very muted look here. This one is cool and this one is warm. The next I'm steps that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do off camera because it's very time consuming. But this is my pen liner from NYX Epic Ink Liner. Very fine and very micro on that one. And then I'm gonna curl my eyelashes right after that. And then I'm gonna do my mascara. And I do have a tutorial on that that I will list below on all of these steps that, so that you can see it. But I'm gonna go off of camera right now and do all of those so that you can see the finished look on both eyes okay so there's the final look on each eye i love what mascara and liners do it just helps to open your eye up so much but, but how easy was that three colors on each eye you can do that with any three colors in the palette that you like try it with different colors i could have really easily gone into the green and done the greens for a very green look on there just anything that you can think of will really do this well if you feel like you can't use on the eyelid those bright colors just find a brighter matte color like i did but honestly the spray trick with the max Fix Plus Primer Water Setting Setting Spray across the lid. It really does help with those crink crinkly eyelids that we get. So I hope that you did enjoy this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope that everybody is staying safe, stay sanitized, stay healthy. I will see you all in my very next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.